as we know for the most part the liver is covered with peritoneum but there are a few areas which is uh, which are bare so what are those non peritoneal areas so here i am going to use three separate terms number 1 non peritoneal areas there are seven non peritoneal areas in the liver number 2 bare areas of the liver there are four bare areas of the liver and the bare area of the liver there is only one the bare area of the liver that is why it is called the bare area of the liver number 1 <coughs> non peritoneal areas of the liver so what are those non peritoneal areas of the liver here you can see there is a fascicular ligament on the anterior aspect of the liver so along with the attachment of this fascicular ligament this is a non peritoneal area it diverges at the superior surface of the liver to form a small triangular area so this is another non peritoneal area of the liver again the the bare area of the liver this is the non peritoneal of the liver then again we have uh, the group for inferior vena cava fossa for gall bladder the group for ligamentum teres hepatis and ligamentum venosum and the porta hepatis so these are the non peritoneal areas of the liver again i am going through this the attachment of the fascicular ligament small triangular cardiac area over the superior surface of the liver number 2 number 3 the uh, group for inferior vena cava number 4 fossa for gall bladder uh, number 5 the ligamentum teres hepatis uh, uh, group for ligamentum teres hepatis and group for ligamentum venosum number 6 and number 7 the porta hepatis so these are the non peritoneal areas what are the bare areas of the liver the bare areas of the liver are the bare area of the liver number 1 i know this sounds confusing but this is the way the thing it is the bare area of the liver number 1 number 2 the uh, group for the inferior vena cava number 3 the fossa for gall bladder and number 4 the porta hepatis so this four areas are the bare areas of the liver and what are the bare area of the liver okay the bare area of the liver is a non peritoneal area on the uh, right lobe of the liver it is the largest non peritoneal area on the posterior surface of the right lobe so <coughs> if you uh, go for searching this uh, the bare area of the liver you should know it is a triangular area so it has an apex a base and two upper and lower limit so what is the base the base of the d bare area of the liver it is a group for inferior vena cava so we can very well appreciate the group for inferior vena cava this is the base of the d bare area what is the apex apex is the right triangular ligament we will discuss the ligaments of the liver shortly after this so that time it will get clear so base is formed by the group for inferior vena cava apex is formed by the right triangular ligament and upper and lower limits are formed respectively by superior and inferior layers of the coronary ligament so this area here this area here this is the the bare area of the liver which is by the way covered by a capsule called vesos capsule this is a connective tissue covering so that is all about the non peritoneal areas of the liver now we will move on discussing the different ligaments of the liver so ligaments of the liver there are two types of ligament of the liver uh, number one there is false ligament which are also called the peritoneal folds and number two the true ligaments so what are the false ligaments of the liver the false ligaments are the peritoneal folds of the liver the peritoneum who covering the liver are con modified into different folds to form those false ligaments and among those false ligaments the most important is the falciform ligament and uh, as we go number 1 falciform ligament number 2 coronary ligament number 3 right triangular ligament 
नंबर फोर लेफ्ट ट्रायंगुलर लिगामेंट एंड लेसर मोमेंटम दिस फाइव आर द फॉल्स लिगामेंट्स और पेटिनल फॉल्स ऑफ द लीवर सो एट फर्स्ट द फैल्सियम लिगामेंट द फैल्सियम लिगामेंट इज ए सिकल शेप फोल्ड फ्रॉम एट द एंटीरियर आस्पेक्ट ऑफ द लीवर दिस इज द फैल्सियम लिगामेंट हुच इज शेप लाइक ए सिकल इन बांगला उ कॉल दिस ए काची और कास्टे दिस इज ए सिकल शेप फोल्ड एंड इट गोज ऑल द वे बैक टू द एंटीरियर सार्फेस अब द एंटीरियर सरी पोस्टरियर सार्फेस अब द एंटीरियर एबडोम वॉल सो दिस इज द फैल्सियम लिगामेंट एंड इट कंटेंट्स आर द लिगामेंट ऑफ टेरिस दिस इज द लिगामेंट ऑफ टेरिस व्हिच इज द कंटेंट ऑफ द फैल्सियम लिगामेंट पैरा अम्बिलिकल वेन्स एंड न्यूमेरस स्मॉल वेन्स नोन एज एक्सरी पोर्टल सिस्टम ऑफ सेपी सो इफ यू आर आस्क्ड व्हाट आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द फैल्सियम लिगामेंट दे आर लिगामेंट ऑफ टेरिस पैरा अम्बिलिकल वेन्स एंड न्यूमेरस स्मॉल वेन्स नोन एज एक्सरी पोर्टल सिस्टम ऑफ सेपी हियर वी कैन नॉट एप्रिशिएट देम सो next we move on to the coronary ligament coronary ligament it connects the bare area of the liver with the diaphragm and consists of two layer the upper layer and the lower layer of the coronary ligament and uh, the, at the right side the both the layer uh, they continuous with the right triangular ligament so here we have the upper layer of the coronary ligament here we have the lower layer of the coronary ligament and in the right side they form the right triangular ligament this is the right triangular ligament here and uh, the on the left side there is left triangular ligament it extends from the upper surface of the left lobe to the diaphragm here we can appreciate the left triangular ligament this is the left triangular ligament and there is all, of course the lesser omentum here near the porta hepatis we can find the traces of lesser omentum this are all about the false ligament so now uh, we are going to uh, discuss the true ligaments so true ligaments there are two types of true ligaments number 1 ligamentum teres hepatis and number 2 ligamentum venosa so you can very well see this is the ligamentum teres hepatis this is a remnant of obliterated left umbilical vein there is no right umbilical vein because that has been already obliterated in the intraembryonic life so there is only left umbilical vein and in the adult life or extra embryonic life of a child uh, the left umbilical vein disintegrates to form the uh, ligamentum teres hepatis the meaning of ligament ligamentum teres hepatis is the round ligament of the liver so it extends from the umbilicus to the left branch of the portal vein at the porta hepatis and passes along the free border of the falciform ligament so that is why i uh, say earlier that ligamentum teres hepatis is a content of falciform ligament and uh, in the fetal life the left umbilical vein conveys oxygenated blood from the placenta to the fetus so what is the function of the ligamentum venosum moving on uh, the ligamentum venosum it is a remnant of obliterated ductus venosus in the fetal life which connects the left branch of the portal vein with the upper left hepatic vein or directly with the inferior vena cava again it may sound confusing so i am going through all the stuff again this is the ligamentum venosum in the intraembryonic life this is called the ductus venosus and it connects the left branch of the portal vein with left hepatic vein or directly to the inferior vena cava so in fetal life most of the blood of the left umbilical vein shunts to the inferior vena cava via the ductus venosus bypassing the hepatic circulation again i am going through this most of the blood carried by this uh, ligamentum teres hepatis which in the intraembryonic life represents the left umbilical vein most of the blood shunts through the uh, ductus venosus to the uh, inferior vena cava 
bypassing the hepatic circulation. These are the function of ligamentum teres hepatis and ligamentum venosum in the uh, fetal life. So, if you can remember all the things about them, you must remember that this ligamentum teres hepatis is a remnant of left umbilical vein and ligamentum venosum is a remnant of ductus venosus. That's all. Now, we are going to show you the different impressions on the visceral surface of the liver uh, because of different, uh, different viscera of the abdomen and this is very much important for your exam so pay attention.